I rise today in support of this package of legislation as outlined by the two co-sponsors. On New Year's Day, when most of us were sworn in, I invited everybody to share their stories as to how they got here in this office. And to those of you who were fortunate enough to win a special election, you got a personal appeal for me to do the same. I, at that time, shared my own personal story with each of you and how I ended up here in the legislature and invited every member to share their story, to tell us how you got here, to share the experiences that shaped your life and made you who you are today. Many of you have taken me up on that offer, and I appreciate hearing the stories. It's led to some great and productive conversations and many new friendships. I want to thank the prime sponsors who have spoken previously and all the other victims who have come to share their stories with not just me, but I think all of us. Their stories are heartbreaking, and I cannot think of a more personal issue than what is before us today. So I have the utmost admiration and respect for the supporters of this bill and the next one we will consider because of your willingness to share your experiences and striving, and I think this is the most important part, striving to help those who are suffering in much the same way but do not yet have the same platform that you may have. Because the hardest part of the story that the prime sponsors have shared with me and many of you is what we've come to learn and that it's this sad truth. These are not isolated instances. That is the most troubling part to me. Our laws exist to protect us. I think we would all agree on that. And to ensure a civil society and justice. But there are times when our laws, by their very nature, actually become barriers to actually protecting our citizens and affording them the rights that they are entitled to. And when those barriers become self-evident, I would offer we have an obligation to remove them. These bills are our best opportunity to address this very serious issue, both in our society, not just in the Commonwealth, but all across the nation, and stand up for those whose voices were kept silent for far too long. However, after these bills are passed, and I think this is equally important, our work on this dark and tragic topic is not over. We all must do our part to try and eradicate sexual abuse of children from the face of the earth. There can never be an excuse for this type of behavior, and never again can there be an opening in our laws where the perpetrators are left to be held unaccountable. I want to take a moment to again personally thank the prime sponsors for your courageous work. But I also want to recognize the representatives from Luzerne County and Montgomery County who are working on the other two grand jury suggestions. They've worked tirelessly to take those recommendations and also put them in to bills. In this chamber and outside of these walls, the most important thing we can do is listen to one another. I think it's very evident that the prime sponsor and myself, because he referenced it, and I appreciate him doing it, there's some sincerely held beliefs by all parties involved regarding different components of the bill. But when he shared his experience, understood my position, and we had a very fruitful conversation, he had an alternative that quite frankly addressed my issues. And I know that was not an easy road to pursue because there's always concern of what else may happen. But I do believe that this is our best opportunity to work together, find solutions, and ensure that the work that we are doing here improves the lives of our friends, our neighbors, and our own families. So for that, I thank you for your courageous work, and I would urge a yes vote on this bill and the bill to file.